20 years, the garden at the Natural History Museum has been the butterfly habitat garden. And this year we've changed it into the pollinator garden to touch on a broader, more important theme of pollination as a whole, not just um, onto butterflies. The garden itself hasn't changed too much, but we've changed the interpretation and the name of it to expand upon this message and educate stronger. I think most is to look at what's happening out year round, that we have lots of blooms throughout the season, and more specifically that we have a lot of variety in this garden. There's over 250 different varieties of plants throughout our small little patch here, which is only 400 feet long and about 40 feet wide. So there's a lot of different things that interact with different insects and different pollinators. What brought this about was in 2014, President Obama signed a memorandum to increase pollinator habitat around the U.S and Smithsonian Gardens was one of the partners in working on this and we wanted to set the example and forward this education. I think I'm most excited that not only is this a great wildlife and habitat garden for pollinators and wildlife in general, but I think you'll find that it's also aesthetically beautiful. So teaching that you don't have to sacrifice aesthetics and beauty to create something that's valuable as well for wildlife and pollinators.